Hello everyone, happy Valentine's Day. Welcome back to a new reading vlog. My name is Britt and I make videos about books and reading and just romanticizing life basically. And I'm very excited about today because it's Valentine's Day. I'm going out for dinner later tonight with my boyfriend and I also baked some really cute Valentine's Day cookies if I say so myself. I made just simple pink hearts and also these with like a pink heart in the middle. They're not the best as you can see. <laughs> This one is a little bit wonky as well, but they're so cute and little tiny hearts and just regular ones as well. They're very, very sweet. Like a bit too sweet in my opinion, but yeah, they're more for like the looks. This was very fun to make though. You have to make a whole kind of inside with the heart shape and then freeze it and then put the regular dough around it and then freeze it again and cut it into cookies. So that was a nice thing to do yesterday. But on Valentine's Day today, I just plan on filming lots and reading lots and just having a lovely day. Because I'm currently reading two books. One of them, not really a Valentine's Day type of book because it is very much about heartbreak, but it's a very fun book. So I'm still going to continue reading it because I really want to finish it because it's just really good. It's Dolly Alderson's Good Material, which is about heartbreak and how someone is trying to deal with this incredible, painful experience. It's super funny, it's relatable, and it's typical Dolly Elderton writing and IDs and like story types. So it's super fun. I'm enjoying this lots. This is the physical book that I'm reading. I'm also listening to an audiobook, namely Orlando by Virginia Woolf, because I'm trying to read some more classics. And I thought if I listen to it in audiobook, I might get through it a bit quicker and easier because sometimes classics can take me so long to read and then I lose interest. But when I'm listening to it on audiobook, it's much easier. So I'm listening to this one on audiobook and I'm actually enjoying it quite a lot. This is about someone called Orlando, which is um, it playfully constructs the figure of Orlando as the fictional embodiment of Wolf's close friend and lover. So these are the two books that I'm kind of actively reading right now. I am reading quite a few more books, but right now I'm just want, like, I want to focus on these. So what I'm going to do right now is clean up a little bit whilst listening to the audiobook and then we're gonna work and edit my previous video, upload my previous video and just get ready for a Valentine's Day dinner, which I'm so excited about. I also am going to give my boyfriend something else, but by the time this video is live, <laughs> you know, he will have gotten it already because I made a drawing of the both of us. I really like doing these kind of pointillism drawings with little dots with my fine liner and then create a portrait out of it. So that's what I did. I won't show the drawing on here, but this is like the style that um, the drawing is in. This is a drawing of Joker that I made a very long time ago when the film was released, but this is in the same style and I thought it would be fun to make a drawing of the both of us. So I hope he's going to love it, but I will gift it to him later tonight. Okay, let's get stuff done. Let's clean up, let's listen to the audiobook and let's do some work. I really hope you're going to enjoy this vlog, so please do give it a thumbs up and let's do some cleaning. finished editing my vlog and it's just in time for lunch because I am getting quite hungry and because it's Valentine's Day I want to treat myself to some pancakes. I'm gonna make some pancakes. So I'm going to make some pancakes. Unfortunately I haven't got any strawberries in the house but I have got some strawberry jam so we're just gonna put that on there and I'm excited because I haven't had pancakes in quite some time.
these pancakes were absolutely delicious. This is my first time ever trying it with some lemon and some sugar. And it's honestly so simple and I think maybe one of my favorite pancake toppings now. I also used a very simple recipe, just one egg, 70 grams of flour and 100 milliliters of milk. I used almond milk, but you can use all type of milks. It is like 1 p.m. now. I've already imported all of this footage for this vlog, but I think I'm just gonna give myself a little break and read um, some good material by Dolly Alderton because I just really want to finish it. I'm very into it, but I keep reading like very small parts. So now I just, I'm gonna do a long, like 30 minute reading sprint because I've got this cool 30 minute hourglass. So I'm gonna use that to do a lovely reading sprint and let's see how far I will get. Happy Friday. I am going to Ikea with my mom today because I am reorganizing, kind of like decluttering slash reorganizing and I need baskets and things to organize everything in my bedroom and I'm very excited. So I made a whole list of things that I really hope to get. So we're gonna go over that in a bit. I also have a few reading updates because I'm about 50% of the way through Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Unfortunately, I'm not really into it. I really like the pacing at the beginning of the book, but now it's getting a bit slow so I'm not too into it but I will continue listen to it um, because I can just listen to it whilst like cleaning and stuff and I am nearly finished with Good Material by Dolly Elderton so I'll be bringing that one with me on the metro to meet my mum so let's go over to Ikea and I will definitely show you a big haul and keep you updated on the organizing <music> Okay, I got back from Ikea, I got all the goods that I wanted, although they did have one thing, but that's okay. So let me quickly do a little haul, like an organization haul, and then I'm gonna start organizing. Oh, I love organizing and decluttering and just making sure that everything is tidy. First of all, I got one of these really big kind of storage boxes that I can put underneath my bed to put in just clothes and stuff um, that I will not be wearing for this season. Then I've got three of these very simple boxes that I can put all the way at the back of my um, closet with, again, storage for like memories and stuff, memory boxes, because now everything is just um, very unorganized. So I got three of these. Then I got extra shelvings for my small Billy bookcases that I use to um, store my shoes, as well as these extra tops for the Billy bookcases so I can make them a bit bigger. Then I've got some of these little boxes that you can organize drawers with. So little drawer organizations. Two of these really pretty boxes I can put in my Billy bookcase, again, to store stuff. <laughs> these are some packing cubes for your clothes when you're traveling, which I love. Then I got a spatula for the kitchen as well as a new soup spoon thing. And this one that I can put in my kitchen cabinet to store extra washing like brushes and stuff so that's that <laughs> and lastly just some of these plastic bags that are so useful for literally everything just smaller ones and some big ones so let's start organizing right now my bedroom looks like this so i definitely need to organize a bit more the extra shelves for the billy bookcases i'm gonna put in there so i can put my shoes in there um just lots of things and the brown boxes are gonna go all the way at the back over here so I've got more room there and the big box the storage box is gonna go underneath my bed and then the beautiful the kind of wood-ish boxes are gonna go in here to organize this a bit more because this looks like a mess so let's start organizing <laughs>
Okay, everything is done. I added that part. I also added that fake blonde to make it kind of look a bit more cozy because it's like very, very high. So these are all of my crochet um, yarn and more crochet accessories. My uh, scarves. This is all like outside stuff as well. Small scarves and gloves. Then I've just got some storage of like, you know, random bits and bobs that you don't really know where to put. My glasses, my camera, and just some random books. And then this is where I'm very, very happy. This is like shop products and stock. And so I've got like prints. Now I have all of my pins in here. Oh! <laughs> this makes me so happy. Uh, up here I've got so much like room left. And here as well, all of my shoes, my bags more just like empty space right here as well so i am very very happy with how this all turned out yeah and also this one underneath my bed is basically still empty so this is just a really nice spot to have some extra storage happy saturday i'm just hopping on here to give you some final reading Finding final reading updates because I have finished Good Material by Dolly Allerton and I enjoyed it so very much. I thought the ending was quite shocking, but also how it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna give this 4.25 out of 5 stars. I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was just really funny, really good. And I love Dolly Allerton and her writing and her mind. So highly recommend this one. And I'm about 65% of the way through Orlando by Virginia Woolf and I'm actually started to enjoy it a bit more because it very much focuses on what it's like being a woman and especially how women in the 18th and 19th century I believe how they were supposed to be living basically. So those aspects are very very interesting about the book so I'm enjoying it more now which I'm happy about. But right now I'm actually going to see two films in cinema. It's gonna be a crazy cinema day. I'm going to see Poor Things and I keep forgetting the name of that kind of rom-com with Sydney Sweeney. Oh well. I'm gonna see that one as well as Poor Things so I'm very excited for this kind of cinema marathon that I'm doing today and I just really hope that you liked this vlog. Please do give it a thumbs up and if you want to comment something but you don't know what to comment, comment a little moon emoji any type of moon a crescent moon a full moon because i woke up very early today it felt like it was still like night but i was so awake and i just had such a good night's sleep so it was still dark when i woke up and it felt great <laughs> so comment a moon emoji thank you again so much for watching i really hope you're having a beautiful day and i will hopefully see you in my next video